Hi, scientists. Today, you made your first three vocabulary cards in class. You should have the following three cards already. Rocks, mixed mineral matter that makes up the surface of Earth and other terrestrial objects, igneous rock, a category of rock formed when hot liquid rock, either lava or magma, cools into a solid. Sedimentary rock. A category of rock formed from layers of sand, soil, clay, gravel, and other sediment that built up in one location over time. Now that you have these three cards done, you are ready to make the final eight cards at home. You should have your eight vocabulary index cards ready to go. You should have a regular pencil and your colored pencils. When you make the vocabulary cards at home, you can pause the video at any time to copy the picture or the definitions. When you are done, you should put all the vocabulary cards on your ring and bring them with you to school each day, but also remember to practice and review them a few minutes each night. It is expected that these cards will be done by Friday and that you will have a good working knowledge of these vocabulary words. Are you ready? If not, pause the video. If you are, you can continue. Your next card is metamorphic rock. The definition that you will put on the line side of your index card is a category of rock formed in chemical reactions where one type of rock is changed by pressure or heat into a new type of rock with different properties. You should pause the video as you need to so that you can copy the definition and draw your picture. When you're ready, you should press play and go to the next word. Rock cycle. The processes that form, break down, and reform rock from one category to another. The three types of rock, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic, are formed through the rock cycle. All of these processes help Earth reuse its matter and materials to form different types of rocks. You may notice that the words form, break down, and reform are in bold because they're important in the definition. If you want to underline or highlight those words, you should do so. If you're ready, continue with the video. If not, pause here. Weathering. The breakdown of rock into smaller pieces from exposure to wind, water, changes in temperature, and or biological forces. There are two kinds of weathering, mechanical and chemical. Please make sure to put that with your definition in parentheses. If you are ready, you can go on. If not, you should pause the video here and start when you're ready for the next card. Mechanical weathering. Weathering that occurs when rocks are broken down by physical force without any change in their chemical structure.
abrasion. A type of mechanical weathering that occurs when rocks and sediment grind against each other. You'll notice in the illustration that wind can often contain little bits of rock or sand. If you've ever been outside when this has happened, on the playground or at the beach, you know what it feels like. This is a type of mechanical weathering because it's a physical force that is shaping the rocks around you. There is no difference in the atomic structure of the rocks, so therefore they are the same type of rock but broken down into smaller pieces. When you are ready, you can go on. If you're not ready, please pause the video here. Chemical weathering. Weathering that occurs when the chemical reactions change the composition of rocks, rearranging the atoms or molecules into new substances with different properties. Chemical weathering, like a chemical reaction, means that matter is being rearranged. In chemical weathering, you're ending up with a new substance which may contain very different properties from the original. There are two cards left. Erosion. The transport of sediment by wind, water, or gravity. The last card is System. A set of connected, interacting parts that form a more complex whole. In science, we use the word system in lots of different ways. In our last unit, we talked about the solar system. There are many systems on our planet, and we're going to focus more on those. When you are done, please make sure that you now have 11 index cards on your ring, the three we did at school and the eight you have completed for homework. You want to make sure that you review these cards so that you'll get to know the terms and understand our reading a little bit better. So please check to make sure that you have system, erosion, chemical weathering, abrasion, mechanical weathering, weathering, rock cycle, metamorphic rock, sedimentary rock, igneous rock, and our main category, which is rocks. Happy studying. We'll see you soon.